blessed and happy new year everyone this is carl welcome to this vehicle simulator slash rpg hybrid aeronautica on new year's eve there has been a new update version 1.144 Feel free to pause the video to read the update notes. Right then, let's join a crowded server. 480 has been... How about this one? We are the concurrent players. Here at Lytham Air Force Base, do you notice anything different? air tattoo static are gone you're correct let's announce the chat that I'm going to record In this video, I will be all right then having an update overview of version one hundred, not version one hundred, one point one hundred forty-four, and you can see here there's been a patch update point one, some patch one. I wonder what the fix was. Right then, let's first teleport to Eisenhart International. <laughs> Eisenhart International. It's the Eisenhart Air Force Base. Did I confuse <laughs> Linwood? <laughs> All right, let's. Let's teleport using the, the Convair XC99. And for the first aircraft, a helicopter, the Sikorsky S97 Raider. SS19 and 2835. Let's make the check black. Oh, this text box is a mess. So color one of the body, color two, the wingtips and the vertical stabilizer. All right, so color two is the is if the horizontal stabilizers and the 
the doors, put it back to jet black, and color three, the horizontal stabilizers. Ah, why is this a mess? And here it is, the Raider. Let's now teleport to Linwood Air Force Base. It's a good thing I didn't say Linwood International Airport. For our next aircraft. We'll teleport using this 7E7. It's <laughs> NB. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. That's un American. That's American. All right, then. The Sikorsky Boeing SB 1 Defiant. And for some reason, they use the greater than sign instead of a dash or hyphen. Let's make this one jet black as well. Color one, this is the body, and this text box is annoying. Of how many updates? Was it four or five updates? It's still blue. <laughs> this won't go away soon. So color one, the body, and then color two is tips of the horizontal stabilizers and the vertical stabilizer. Make that jet black as well. Still 108. Then color three should be the horizontal stabilizers. There is the Defiant. Transparent. The Defiant. Let us now teleport to the starting island of Ockany for our next plane. We'll use this Reliance class. And look here, we got an Antonov An Visit Watsat Piat Maria on top of the Buran. The classic Soviet livery. And why is it in Ockany Island Airport? This runway is not enough. The C-130. And... We got a player with the... <laughs> That new plane, the E Vector. Superstar. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? There it is. Not Superstar, but Sports Star. The A Vector Sports Star. 
should have used it as a, not an ultra light, but a single engine. Do you agree? It should be a single engine. More like an aerobatic. Alright, so let's use aircraft white. Then let's use two random colors. Oh. Okay, so color one is the beautiful large area, the color two are the main wings, and color three the horizontal stabilizer or stabilizers. Let's make that all one color. The Avector Sports Star. And with the advanced liveries, you can actually imitate those squigglies, the curves on the fuselage. The Sports Star. Oh, it's still pure white. Ugh. There we go. The Sports Star. Oh, we're back at the dealership. All right then, let's teleport to the aircraft carrier OSS Lernevo. What shall we use? Tomcat. Tomcat. Oh, these are all blanks. Not used in a while. Right then. Let's see where this fleet are now. So this is Octanus. So they're currently at the same location as they were in the last update. 1.143. So the news edition so we still have Lernavo is the Northrop Grumman RQ-8A Fire Scout. Drone helicopter. Let's make it military gray. That's this one. So one. So it's the body. And two. The rotor area. And color three, the tail. The fire scout. And you can upgrade this RQ-8A to the MQ-8B. Here's for comparison. But wait a minute. It's a scout helicopter, but... What happened to the jobs? Where did the jobs go? Or it, or it, it will also inherit the RQ-8A's job acceptance. But here it is, the MQ-8B, the RQ-8A. They're both fire scouts.
The next one is at Sandra's International. So let's teleport there, and what shall we use? How about this 747 of Lufthansa? With the inconsistent engines. Oh, it's, uh... <laughs> it's not so detailed. What a pity. Lufthansa uses uh, G engines, but the model uses uh, Fran Whitney. If they would put advanced configurations same way with the 767s. Support to Sandris. And where is the cruise ship? The Leo class. And this is the one that's, in reality, it's part of the Norwegian cruise line. And color one should be most of the hull, so let's make that maritime white. Color two are those deck chairs. There's a decorative smokestack. What kind of blue can we put here? Let's start with the... <laughs> Why is this? This is a typical dark blue, or should I say dark navy? Oh, it's not 193, it's just 93. There we go. And for color three, should be the flooring. We'll use the deck chair brown for this. Not 129. That's the Dexter Brown. How about this one? Oh, not one. <laughs> This is a leather chair. So, so dark. Yeah, so let's. Uh, we'll take it like that. Right, so here is the the Leo, or should I say the Norwegian Spirit? That's the correct name. Good card for layers. Uh, I can see the transparency. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> you know, it's probably the <laughs> rendering problem, but is this on stock? Let's see if this is on stock. Next time. Nope. I am on stock.
Right then. Let's now teleport to Salem Airport. I don't remember what Italian airport was this. Let's use the A310. And here is our light transport aircraft. The Alinea C27 Ilunga. The C27J. So let's use an aircraft gray. There's the color one. And color two is the vertical stabilizer and normally the wings and the horizontal. They get the rest. Spartan. Hmm. Why call it Spartan? More like Roman or hmm. yeah, Roman. I don't see any hmm. Academian or Greek significance to this, but there it is. The the Alinea C venti G or Ilunga, whatever you want to call that J in Italian. Get up. And the next one here, the Fiat 7002, the Fiat 7002. So this is color one, most of the, the body. Color two is, we need to make a darker shade of gray for this one. So color one, the body, color two, that's the the railing and then the rotor. And color three. The neck. Or well, how do you call this part of the helicopter? I I know little helicopter terminology there, but the Setemila do it. The 7002, 7002. Why do they prioritize unexperimental ones? Now let's teleport to Zodajang or Chudai Chang. How do you, what's the proper pronunciation? What are the Chinese characters used in this? Chou Tai Chang. Chou Tai Yeah. Chou Tai Chang. Yeah. Right, Chou Tai Chang. Here's 
There's layers. And where's this? And here we go. That's the helicopter. This is the Harbin Z Chichu Heishuangfang. The Z19. Let's put it on jet black. Color one, the most of the most of the helicopter. And color two, the so-called wing. Four wing, the back wing is color three. The C2, the C19. Oh, I said just 19, so it should be the C2. And that's the C19. Now let us teleport to Porlia Field, where I have parked one of my there's Canadian maritime plane. Porlia, Porlia. Here it is, the Canada Air CL215. And instead of the patrol variant, they have now made the default the scooper variant. So here's the hidden airport of Kyoko, Perlaya Field. And if you want to know where it is, there's Suli and Radang. So 11.4 kilometers south, yeah, southwest, and then so twenty five point yeah, twenty five kilometers east by northeast of Radam. Okay, so color one is the fuselage, the engines, color two, the wings and the horizontal stabilizers, color three, the vertical. And the C four, the CL four fifteen MP has been moved as a variant conversion rather than the default option there. It's the maritime patrol. All right, so. All right, so there's the scooper. You can add a spinner cap. Yeah, it just as a spinner cap. Yeah. yeah, these two things here. A little different. Yeah, but there's also an addition to range just by two kilometers. And also convert it to the super scooper and they have improved engines. 
got the floaties, winglets, and also, yes, the maritime patrol variant. You know, a difference of only 800 wings points. We had these bars. You can also add the search radar. Well, yes, it was some essentially for the maritime patrol variant, but you know what I mean. It's there's the 215 and the 415. But like the F-18 CD and the ENF, they, it'll never change, I guess. But let's give it a try. So here it says CL-215. Right, so... It's Right, so CL215. Let's end the flight. Overhaul. Let's transform it to the CL415 MP. Or like the Maritime Patrol. <laughs> Still says CL215. And as well, this shouldn't say 215, and no weird way to spawn seaplane. And it says still CL215. I'm going to fix the title issue. Right, despawn. So let's make this let's make this one the color one. This will do for now, but it also has advanced texture there, so. It still uses the Echo Coast Guard thing, so. It, it uses the 415MP variant. Nothing has changed much. But still, yeah, the titles need to be fixed. Okay, then. Now, on to the Admiral Variag. Where it beautifully park here the Mikoyan Grivich Mig Dwatsat Deviat. Full crew. And with the livery that's can't be rendered, should be the Indian Navy, but not Indian Air Force. Is it Indian Navy or Indian Air Force? <laughs> Mix up. Oh yeah, I think it's it, it used to be the Malaysian Air Force one, but I've re made it a rename it so it looks Indian. Right. We can now convert the Dwasa Deviat to a naval variant. And it requires two logged hours. Shall we? And here we have it. The navalized variant of the MiG Dwatsat Deviat. The MiG Dwatsat Deviat Keube. The NATO reporting name of Fulcrum D.
but that's KOB, so naturally it should be Indian. Right, customizations, you can have a drop tank. Now where's this drop tank? Oh, <laughs> thought there was nothing, so yes. There's the drop tank. A refueling pod. We'll just make it a refueling pod. It's but yeah, let's, let's put a drop tank. Let's, do the Indians Indians do this or do you use either of them? But the Puzz MK, that's I think that's still Russian basic technology, but soon this would be an Indian Navy variant. So you can add in the inner ring pylon the the L seventy set sim label I for the inner wing. You can add a pair of shock tanks or the Katrit Sat Odin pair. Yep, these are um these should be anti ship missiles. And mid inner wing you can add more of those LS seventy seven or the same drop tanks, they're both the same. Or the these. Yeah, they're they're both the same. The other wing can add more anti air missiles and And the mid outer wing, you can add yeah, it's more the L seventy seven sem or the the L seventy seven three M. Yep, they're also anti air missiles. The seventy seven sem, it's mostly like that, but in full armament. We'll use the inner ring pylon as the should be drop tanks. But here's your navalist variant, the KOB. Let's give it a try. And <laughs> we spawn in front of the <laughs> arresting gear. Right, so normally we use T for the air brake and the Y for the tail hook. No, not the tail hook. The tail hook doesn't operate. Right. I wonder if we'll use the O key for something. Oh, the O key's to zoom out, so. Right, so Y key, that's, that's for refueling, but there would be nothing else for the, you know, the tail hook. So let's see if we, this can work. Right, so let's, how about the drop tank? I don't mind wasting a lot of wing source for this purpose, but Let's respawn at the carrier and see what the Y key does. There we go. The tail hook activates if you you not activate lower. The tail hook lowers if you use the There we go. And it should also activate without the drop tank. No. Oh. How did I waste enough waste points for this? Separate option for the tail hook there, so Y key, it should, yes, that's it. And that's it, the Dwatsat Deviat KOB. No, not just Dwatsat Deviat KOB, the big Dwatsat Deviat KOB. Yes, it should belong to the Indian, not, not, not much 
not enough Russian. And intended for Indian. Yeah, as I said, yeah. Right, not enough Russian there. But more commitment to other nations that are. Well, hold on. Shouldn't these uh, fold up? It's a K variant, so these should fold up. Oh, they don't, I see. Hope that would hope that would be a addition somehow, but what other keys you can use for these? But Right. That was the Dwatsa Deviat. <laughs> Not again. The Mikoya Gudovich Mig Dwatsa Deviat K U B. The MiG twenty nine K U B. There, I've said it correctly. So where did I put my J20? Horimoto? Hmm. It is the J Ishi. And that's this update. You now customize it. The other wing you can add this PL-10, an air-to-air -air missile, or drop tanks. Oh, this is the outer wing, so not much balance there. But and then the inner wing, strike missiles, or drop tank. And in the weapon bay, nothing, or you can put something, another more PL-15s. So what do you think? It's PL-15s out here, or just put drop tanks there, and then you can put the PL-15s inside. There we go, the j Ashi, the J-20. That's all for this Chinese self fighter. Okay, did somebody ask for my attention? All right, let me. I don't want to say this again. All right. All right then. So there's a new craftable plane. It's none of those. All right, it should be on the jet section. All right, doko, doko, doko. All right, this giant seaplane, the Shin Meiwa GS, the GS. Look at the quality of this. Normally, the color one would be the you know, color one should be the fuselage, color two, the tail and engines, or yeah, color one can be fuselage and engines, or either color, the engines could be color one or two, but color two should be the tail and color three the wings, and the the ones above the, the vertical stabilizer. So none of these prototypes or experimental or concept aircraft. The GS. Alright, let's ask the chat.
I guess that's about it. That's all the new aircraft for this latest update. Let's teleport to San Paralku, the pseudo Saint Bartholomew. Oh, I guess it's no answer yet, but naturally it should be 10 parts, like the SR-71, the KL, the Andvisi Dwarsat Piat, well, probably 10 parts, like, uh, not 10, yeah, so, I previously mentioned, they require 10 unique parts to craft. So probably the GS would be 12, like the LZ-100 Dona Swatsig. Probably 5, like the... The Rapier. So we're here at San Paralku, and where is the fuel tank? No, oh, it's still there. Still the spawn, you couldn't... Did they move the fuel tank from here? Because the last time when I land a seaplane here, you can't really despawn to this airport. Yeah, that was a seaplane, but... Yeah, should, cruise ship should be in here. And after refueling, they should be spawn near and should be, quote, teleported to San Paralco Airport. But that's about it. Let's now teleport to Breitkirk Airfield. We'll use this placeholder, placeholder hornet for the park purposes of parking and there's the fuel tank let's disable this radar then yeah there's not enough commitment should put more road it's just a typical town it's place all around the game map there's all these houses, same color, green, blue, orange, plus a church in the middle. It's all around Avalon. And the field tank. Really, you just need a simple port. You just need a few blocks. You don't have to rush. And that's Spraykirk. Let's teleport to Ness Aerodrome. What shall we use for this one? Well, this is my only plane there, so... I guess this is Pseudo Papa Westray. There we go, this should be the real tank for passing boats. Oh, yes, that's a... Good question there. Yes, yeah, so this is the fuel tank for the... Yeah. For Pseudo Papa Westray. And that's Ness Aerodrome. That's all, it's just the... Update the fuel tank for boats. And finally, let's teleport to Norman.
and oh great not completely rendered so here we are at norm international pseudo harry reed at las vegas <laughs> and this should be the port i really want to know just somewhere in nevada or just just a generic port and there's the fuel tank i don't get it what is that it just the fuel tank or you can use these fuel tanks for refueling what are these oh it's <laughs> they're not meant to be fuel tanks yeah it would be great if you just refuel in the support area here but not just here then there we go that's norman or the port of norman <laughs> just This looks <laughs> pseudo Las Vegas. Oh, it's just in low quality or something, but. Alright, that's Norman. Let's, uh. Now to end, we will teleport on a. First, a 707. Where's my 707? 707. Alright. Here's a. Boeing 707, 320B. I kind of, I've been waiting for a suitable livery for this, but I don't think there's any of this, so. Oh, there's no advanced configurations. Let's put it on free flight. And before this update, this used to have the B-52 cockpit. Alright, so let's look closely at the cockpit area of the nose. And here we have... A cockpit. I wonder who modeled this? This doesn't look like Sky Scoot or... Right. We remove the HUD. Here's the fire extinguisher. And all these controls. Okay, so that was uh, 33, but. Yep, this is static. Look at that detailing of this. Yeah, these are all static. Yeah. April 13th, 1984. Throttles. Yep. Let's see, decals. Copilot. Ancient chair. A good addition to the seven oh seven. Right, and let's close the video by teleporting to a Boeing 737-200. It should be the 200 or the freighter variant, 200F, and for reasons why it's, oh come on, it's, 
the pharynx are still bugged. I hope the next 737 remodels should resolve this issue once they are released. But here, this is the Chrono Aviation variant that has the, uh, yeah, it's the combi. But that's right, it's the combi variant that. This game already has a combi variant. There we go. That's they already have combis. That's the Kraken combi. Yeah, metal engines. See the difference there? More realism. All right. Yeah, most of these are. <laughs> they look like Canadian ones. There, there's a combi Therion. Northern, Northernian, <laughs> Northernian. <laughs> I like nothing. There's no one without anti glare. Look at this. There's a half glare. <laughs> what did I say? Glare? I didn't say anti glare. Yeah. There's a full. There's a half. There's none. Right. Also, the registration changes. What variety there? It's and oh come on. Yeah, this needs more guides though. It's it falls short. This here one, this is two, and this is three. They're all combi. And Nordian has a combi variant. Does Isair doesn't have a <laughs> yeah, that's I thought Isair is a it looks like Canadian as well, but this doesn't even have so wait. No. It's not a com it's not a cargo door. I guess that's about it. All these, all these Canadian-inspired ones, except Isaiah. It's kind of the copy variant there, but that's about it. So we have a free flight with the seven three seven, and uh, still not fixed. Mm -hmm, still not fixed. Oh, the windows. Yep. 707 and 737 share the same window configuration. Those, those two above. And the cockpit is mostly the same as the 707 one. But yes. The 737 now has a cockpit of its own. And this is basically the same as the 707, but this is intended for this one. The threes. Well, the A320 and 31s, as well as the A340s, it's, there's still some mistakes to be corrected, like what model is used on the screens but this is as good as you can get right and we're doing it in the opposite way there so we'll edit here as we will see you on the next Aeronautica video. Merci beaucoup. Et au revoir.